Want to go far in business and in life? You can't do it alone. The secret is expanding your network of personal relationships, building friendships, connecting on an intimate level, away from the office, over a coffee or cocktail. Welcome to All In with the real Nate Payo. The show that asks what happens when you go all in and leverage the power of your network of personal relationships. Good morning. Welcome to the All In Podcast with Nate Payo. Once again, I'm your host, Nate Payo. Today, I'm sitting with Chip Baker, host of the Success Chronicles. Welcome to the show, Chip. Hello, hello. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so I met I met Chip um, on this journey I've I've been on to to meet with people, network with people, connect with people, and using a podcast as a platform. And Chip Chip is also a host of his own show, The Success Chronicles. And I was fortunate enough to be a guest on the show. And it's kind of one of those things where when you put some faith into the process, that if you meet people they're going to introduce you to some other people who are going to introduce you to some other people. And before you know it, you've met some people in your life. that are going to make a profound impact. And these are people you probably never would have met under different circumstances. And I think Chip's definitely one of those people that without, you know, kind of putting myself out there and trying to do a podcast, I never would have had the chance to connect with him, but he's doing some amazing things, some inspirational things and really trying to uh, help people find the best version of themselves. So, Again, Chip, welcome, welcome to the show. Pleased to have you. Uh, how did you get get started in this journey of uh, the Success Chronicles? What was the founding moment there? Well, first again, I want to say thanks so much for giving me the opportunity to be on your podcast. I truly appreciate it. But uh, for me, uh, you know, I've been blessed and fortunate to be raised by some amazing people, as well as be around some awesome folks to learn from in my career. And so I started the Success Chronicles a little over three years ago to show appreciation and give back uh, to those amazing people that I had in my life. You know, we always had, you know, great conversations and, you know, they were people that expi- inspired me. And so I just really, you know, started out by just wanting to show appreciation for them. And now it's grown at a crazy rate and it's truly far surpassed anything I ever thought it would be. And, uh, and and here we are. Yeah. So who are the type of people you like to work with and that you like to help? I think uh, for me, you know, as a part of my mission, you know, I pride myself in taking care of the people that take care of people, mm-hmm. you know. And so, you know, from there, you know, that's leaders, that's, you know, anyone that's involved with uh, trying to shine a positive light and help others. And so I think... Um, for me, if if you're looking for positive motivation and inspiration, you can get it with the Success Chronicles. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a good place to find it. I think you touched on on the idea of having mentors and, and giving yeah. back, and especially like when I was early in my career, and and most people are in the same the same predicament, and not a predicament, but the same mindset is like, I want to learn, I want to be educated, I want to gain knowledge. And so we're in consumption mode, we're going to school, we're taking classes, we're reading books, we're doing this and that. And we gain all this knowledge. And then somewhere after you've had some experience with stuff, you're still craving this, this knowledge. But you forget that you've accumulated so much of yourself that you, you, you need to sometimes take a step back and go, Hey, I can give back some of this knowledge I've accumulated to other people and help other people come up in their path. At the same time, I'm consuming um, information and positive influence uh, from, from above and from mentors. So I think that's really cool that you you looked and saw, hey, and these mentors helped me out. And now I want to help other people out. Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, I think the goal is to continue to always have a growth in our life. Um, you know, continue to learn, continue to be the best version of ourselves, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, continue to have that growth in all areas of our life. But then also the fulfilling part comes in when we can give that back to others. You know, we know that we've put the effort and time in to do that, but then now we can help others move efficiently in their path. And really to me, you know, the the application is, is in the application. (laughs) <laughs> yes, it is. You know, for, so we have sure. to apply what we learn uh, so that so that we feel fulfilled. Mm-hmm. What would you say has been one of your biggest challenges getting started um, that you've overcome 
with with being a mentor, being a launching the Success Chronicles, and being a podcaster. Not enough time. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, you know, uh, I am a podcaster, but you know, I've been in. I didn't say this. I've been in education for you know my twenty first year this year, and I'm a fourth generation educator. So there's lots of things that I have on my plate, and you know, I pride myself in. Uh, having systems in place to help me move efficiently and effectively. But I mean, there's always more things that you want to do. Um, and, and the great thing about, you know, the times now we have some time and it allows us, you know, the opportunities to do those things. And that's, I look at it as a blessing. Yeah. I like that, that you're, you've been an educator, you come from a, you know, your family's been educators and, and you're using your platform to reach more voices and have a, have a larger yeah. impact. So that's really great. So this, this is a show um, that talks a bit about networking and, and networking comes in, in different forms and, and places. And, and I like to I call it networking because it's the easy word to use to describe it, but it's really more about developing personal relationships with people yeah. and trying to, to, to have this network of people that you can rely on for support and help and need, but also people you can reach out to to support and help and need. How have you built relationships um, and this journey of yours with, with the success chronicles and then how has it taken you to places that you never thought possible? You know, in my second book, uh, Effective Conversation to Ignite Relationships, the first quote that I, I use in there is a quote by one of my former pastors, Pastor Danny Green. And it, this puts it all together. Uh, you know, the quote is, our life moves at the speed of our relationships. You know, and so um, in our lives, you know, if we have quality relationships, uh, quality things will happen mm -hmm. in our lives. You know, you think about it, those people that don't, are struggling to do things, you know, they don't have the, the quality relationships they need in their life. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think that's where it all stems from. And I think it's a direct connection to, it's a link of, of, of all of the things you've done, you know, we're, we're some total of our environments, our experiences, our relationships and our actions and, and relationships are so key uh, because you know, like for me, like I said, I I just started out, you know, just, you know, shooting to show appreciation to the people, the relationships that I had in my life. And now, you know, I'm getting to interview uh, Olympians and people mm -hmm. that I've always uh, looked up to and, you know, people that I read their books, <laughs> you know, like, like different things like that. And so uh, it's truly been a blessing. But then, like we talked about earlier, being able to help. So now uh, I can connect people and help establish that and build their relationships as well and give them opportunities. And I think for me, it's really cool because uh, people don't refer you unless you're referable. And for me, uh, it warms my heart to know that people think enough of what I do and how I do what I do to refer me to others and put their name on the line yeah. because they think of what I do is, you know, of value. And so I'm truly appreciate that and, and appreciative for those relationships. That, that's so important when, when there's, you have a network of people you're working with or you're, you're in your trust circle, it's basically a trust circle. It's building yeah. that trust and you having faith that the people that are you're going to recommend or refer to somebody else that they're both going to um, add value and not go, Hey, who, who'd you, why'd you introduce me to that guy? That guy is flake or that guy was, yeah. you know, not, not so honest. Um, and then vice versa to have somebody that you respect and admire say, Hey, look, you know, check out Chip. He's going to help you out. You're like, wow, that's, that's a great referral. So the importance of referrals is, is I think super important. And then when you start, at least for me, when I start connecting people within my network together, that I find so much more fulfillment and happiness. When somebody's like, "Hey, I'm really struggling with this problem," and I'm like, "I know somebody that can help you. You got to talk to this person." Yeah. That to yeah. me is where I feel the most fulfillment when it's you know, when it's me and you, you and him. That it's a little less like um, I don't, it's good, but it's it's. I think that's where the power is: is when you're connecting other people to each other and not just being a one-on-one. -on -one. 
Yeah, that's the magic right there. You know, <laughs> I think that's the that's the the idea of sowing seeds, you mm-hmm. know, uh in our world. And so I think when you sow positive seeds from a a, a, a non judgmental, unbiased, not looking to get it, gain anything from it, you know, mm-hmm. place, it's amazing how great things just happen for you because you're doing it from a good hearted place and you're not trying to get over on anybody. You're just looking to help and make a difference. Yeah. Um, what, what do you find is, is the, is there a, a one thing or a few things that people that you work with tend to, to struggle with, to take that first step to kind of pursue the best version of themselves possible? What would you recommend to get over that? Uh, I think it, it starts with the mindset um, you know, I, I think I have a concept that I call LPOs. I think at first the L is uh, limits. You know, if you limit yourself, then you limit yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and it starts with that mindset. You have to know that uh, you are capable. You are enough. Uh, we have to get over that first. And I think once we do that, it shows us that the P, the possibilities are possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, just like you know, I've talked about in the situation with the podcast, with what I'm doing. I mean, like, uh, <laughs> like the possibilities are possible. Yeah, you know, I'm a you know I'm a little guy from a small town in Texas. You know, grew up with a single parent mother. You know, and you know I'm interviewing people from all over the world. You know, I'm a three time best selling author. You know, like like the possibilities are possible. Yeah, and I think once you once you start realizing a few things are possible with effort, oh. your 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 limits change. You know, like, oh, like if you're if, if you're thinking of what you can do and what's possible, it's it's really a belief in what what you think is possible. And I use this analogy: it's like you know, sometimes you say like, if if you wanted to get a a, a donut. You could go get one. You could figure it out. You know where yeah. it's at. You know where the store is. And even if you don't have any money, you can maybe think of some some ideas to find. Maybe there's a couple quarters in the couch cushion or mm-hmm. between the seat of the car. Or, or there, there's ways you could do it. And so you go, okay, if I wanted to get a donut right now, I, I, that's possible. I can visualize it happen and I can make it happen. There's a solution to it. But some of like these bigger more audacious like goals that we have for ourselves. You just go, ah, that, that's just not for me. That's somebody else that that's possible. But when you start changing your belief about like, Hey, I, I do believe it's possible. I'm seeing the path to get there. It might not be an overnight path, but it's about taking little steps that take you in the right yeah. directions that take you in meeting the right people that yep. shape your lives, that, that give you encouragement. And then once you start seeing the more, you start seeing possibilities becoming possible then these other impossibilities start becoming more possible. And then oh, as soon man. as they become possible, then then you can you can find a way to get to, to do that. So I think your your mission there and your your idea behind it's very, very true, very impactful. Yeah, it's it, it lights you on fire. You know what I'm saying? Because you <laughs> see that you see that oh well yeah it is. So then now like there is no limit. Mm-hmm. You know, like it is uh, like, oh, well, I'm going to do that, you know, and it gives you gives you the confidence. And then you see the O is what I was going to say is, you know, opportunities bring opportunities, mm-hmm. you know. And so when you are, are doing things with a passion like that and you don't have limits and you see that the possibilities are possible, you cherish every opportunity. And what happens is just like we talked about with the relationships, you gain more opportunities from that because, People see that you are worthy, and, and your your word is bond, and, and mm-hmm. it's quality work with what you're doing. It's amazing how that that snowball effect mm-hmm. picks up steam and, and does great things for you. So, um, one last question for you before we end. We'll have two. The, the last one will be where, where people, people find you. But okay. what what is what is your favorite quote that you like to repeat to people when when they're talking about success? When they're talking about success, my favorite quote, I think uh, for me, uh, and this is classic, you know, uh, the the Earl Nightingale, you know, progressive realization of a, of a worthy goal, you know, and for me, that comes in many phases, I think seasons, levels, you know, just for example, like me as a, as a person, you know, my definition of success, you know, it's different now than what it was 
you know, a couple years ago, mm-hmm. or or you know, even even when you get to different phases of your life, you know, you you prioritize mm-hmm. whatever is important to you at the moment. Uh, you know, is your definition there? So I think you know, it's a continuous, not a one stop. It's this. I think yeah. it's a continued uh, work in progress, if you will. Yeah, I'd like to add to that because I think especially for me and I'm going to say a lot of people in this boat when they're younger success is things that success yes. is, is like I yes. got a certain level of income I got a, this kind of a car I have this big of a house but as you get older those things they they to me they mean less like you start mm-hmm. acquiring things and they don't provide you this like satisfaction that you thought you'd get from them and you just keep pursuing it but when you find success to me is how many people's lives that you can shape and impact and see them grow and be um, the best version of themselves. So I think to me, success is, is the definition changes over time of what you're looking to go for and what yeah. motivates you. And when you start realizing what real success is, then those things you talk about matter more because you're going to go through seasons. You're going to go through levels where sometimes things are rocking or rolling and it's easy. And sometimes things are tough and you don't feel like doing it. And if your if your cause, your belief in what su- that success is, is stronger, you're going to go through the tougher times uh, and not give up. If it's just, you know, chasing material things or, you know, things that don't have this big value to you deep down in your your soul, then then they're going to, eh, it's not that important. And you'll, oh, for sure. Uh, I mean, else. I think uh, you, you have to realize that, that at the end of the day, it's not about you. You know, every decision we make, every choice we make, everything we do, it affects someone else that you love. Yeah. Right. And so we have to be aware of our actions, our decisions, our choices, uh, because, um, you know, when, like you said, when you're in those moments, because you, we're going to all have tough times. Mm-hmm. And when we get in those those tough times, if it's just about you and you quit, you'll give up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But if it's if you realize that it's bigger than you. Well, it doesn't matter what the obstacle is, and now you have reason to step up and knock it out. Yeah, I love that. That's that's really having a cause. It's, a, it's more. It's beyond you. It's it's more than yes. just you. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So I appreciate you coming on my show. You have had a lot of awesome knowledge bombs um, that you talked about. So if people want to get uh, connected to the Success Chronicles, where do where should they find you at? Well, you can go to any social media platform. My main deal is YouTube. Uh, Chip Becker, The Success Chronicles, and the podcast, uh, any podcast platform. Uh, again, like I said, I'm on all social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, yeah. uh, TikTok. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and all of those are Chip Becker, TSC, and Twitter is Chip Becker 19. But, you know, one big thing I would love for, you know, like people, you know, normally say, you know, go like, follow, subscribe, comment, all of those things. I love for people to do that. But bigger than that, just like I said, you know, a long time ago in my life, I learned that it's not about me. And so if there's something that you see uh, that you know will make a difference in someone else's life, uh, please, I ask that you just please share with them to help make our world a better place. Yeah, I, I love that. Make it make it about somebody else first. So yes. cool. Thank you so much, Chip, for uh, coming on the show and uh, look forward to chatting with you again soon. Yes, sir. Go get it. All right. Make sure to visit our website, therealnatepayo.com, where you can subscribe to the show on iTunes so you'll never miss an episode of All In. While you're at it, if you found value, we'd appreciate a rating on iTunes or if simply tell two friends about the show. Looking to connect? You can find Nate Payo on LinkedIn or Instagram.